Now, for the first time, Ukraine has given a number for how many soldiers the country has lost since Russia's full-scale invasion. And as ABC's Patrick Ravel shows us, the Ukrainian president is increasingly worried, with USAID still deadlocked in Congress. President Volodymyr Zelensky says 31,000 Ukrainian soldiers have been killed since the start of Russia's February 2022 invasion. The first time Kyiv has given a number for its losses, Zelensky not saying how many have also been wounded. U.S. officials have previously estimated Ukraine has suffered well over 100,000 casualties when wounded are included. Russia estimated by the U.S. to have lost well over 300,000 killed and wounded. Zelensky making the remarks in a major news conference marking the second anniversary of the invasion at a deeply worrying moment for Kyiv. Zelensky also saying March, April will be difficult and that Russia will attempt another offensive in late May or summer. Russia right now already on the offensive, a week ago finally seizing the strategic eastern city of Avdivka, a sign of what may lie ahead. These images show the city at the start of the war. And today, Ukrainian artillery ammunition and air defenses now running dangerously low. There are just a lot of guys dying, this soldier says. We are sitting here with nothing and we can't do anything. The country desperate for aid. A standalone $95 billion aid package for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan, requested by President Biden and passed by the Senate, is now stalled in the House. Republican Speaker Mike Johnson refusing to put it to a vote, with some Republicans loyal to former President Trump refusing to pass any kind of aid. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan on ABC's This Week saying the decision lies with Johnson. I have spoken with him personally. He has indicated that he would like to get the funding for Ukraine. He's trying to figure out a way to do it. Right now, it comes down to his willingness to actually step up to the plate and discharge his responsibility at this critical moment. And history is watching. Alexandra Ustinova is on the team of Ukrainian lawmakers negotiating with Congress. Unfortunately, Avdiivka is only the first step. And we see that this is the first clear sign that if you don't have munition, if you don't have the means to fight, you cannot win a war. You're going to lose the war. Patrick Reval, ABC News, Kyiv.